Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Book 2, Unit 5 Be Born with Simple Past Review and Time Expressions. Dear students, in this unit we'll practice about using simple past with be born and we will use time expressions. Let's look at the objectives of this unit. Uh, so after the completion of this unit, the students will be able to have knowledge of using be born with simple past, identify time expressions in a sentence. So here we'll be using be born with simple past, like where were you born? You remember were is the past of? You remember? Per is the remember of R. Okay, in simple present, we use R. But in past, we use were. So, where were you born? Okay. I was born in Sao Paulo. Okay. I was born in Sao Paulo. And was is the past of is okay so I was born in Sao Paulo let's look at another example and I wasn't born in Abba now where were your parents born okay where were your parents born they were born in Saudi Arabia okay they weren't born in the US Okay, weren't is the contraction of were not. Okay, were not we write as weren't. So they weren't born in the US. Did you live there for a long time? Okay, yes, I did. I lived there for six years. Okay, so this uh, shows the time expression how long? Okay. D uh, do you live there? Did you live there for a long time? Okay, this long time shows duration or time. So this we use for time expression. Yes, I did. I lived there for six years. No, I didn't. I didn't live there long. Okay, let's move on to the next part of this unit. Now, how long did you live in Sao Paulo? Okay, so these are all how long this all shows time expression how long did you live in Sao Paulo we lived there until I was six okay from 1986 to 1992 okay so this shows the time expression we did we didn't leave until 1992 then we came to US did she move here last year okay yes she did she moved in May so last year it shows time expression did she move here last year yes she did she moved in May no she didn't she moved in 2002 when did they come here they came here about three years ago okay all these shows the time expression they came when he was 19 okay when he was 19 let's move to the next part of this unit and now we'll talk about determiners do you know what's a determiner okay determiner is something that you determine okay that shows your willpower now after completion of this unit you'll be able to have knowledge of using determiners in general situation okay and have knowledge of using determiners in a specific situation okay something that determines that shows that finds out okay so have knowledge of using determiners in a specific situation so we will use determiner in general situation and determiner in a specific situation let's look at the examples then it would be clear to you now for general 
we say all children learn a language okay all children learn a language most Canadians need French some students take Spanish a few people are good at Latin no students like exam so all these phrases all most some a few okay no this determines this shows okay so all children learn a language most Canadians need French some students take Spanish a few people are good at Latin no students like exams okay so these are determiners that show how many okay but there's an exception a lot of people speak English well okay let's look at the specific examples okay all of the children in my town take English most of the people in my office know French some of the students in my class take Greek a few of my classmates got A's none of my friends failed the exam okay so here you can see we are using the determiners here it's general all children that means all around the world okay but here we are talking about specific all the children in my town okay I'm talking about the children in my town most Canadians need French okay so here it talks about all Canadians but most of the people in my office okay like I'm talking about the people in my office some students take Spanish okay but some of the students in my class okay they take Greek so this is specific a few people are good at Latin a few of my classmates okay a few people this is general idea or general thing but a few of my classmates means I'm talking about my classmates none no students like exam none of my friends okay and a lot of the people in this city speak English okay so hope you would have enjoyed your lesson okay you found this stuff interesting and you have really built up your knowledge about the grammar that we are doing this is all for today have a nice day see you in the next class